It's a holiday weekend, and alongside that, we do have a double XP event going on within Vanguard, Warzone, and Black Ops Cold War right now. So if you're taking some time to rank up your weapons within Vanguard, finishing out everything before the Vanguard integration, just so you can go for camo challenges, whatever the case may be, there's actually a little bit better of a way to do this so that you can cut your time that it takes to rank up a weapon perhaps in half. And that's insane to consider, so we're gonna break down what you need to know, as well as some other tips to help you out with your weapon leveling, so you can do that as fast and as efficiently as possible and take advantage of this weekend as much as you possibly can. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Have you guys been using any of these tips here to help you rank up your weapon a little further? Is this something you're going to shift to and try out for yourself? Whatever the case, drop it down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Let's aim for 2,000 likes on this. You guys have been crushing it lately, so truly, thank you guys so much for the continued support. Truly appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing ring all things Vanguard, all things Warzone, whatever the case may be. If you guys are a part of that nearly 70% of viewers that are not subscribed and you'd like to help us out on that road to half a million subscribers while also staying in the loop with all of that, I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, my friends over at Gamer Advantage are having a killer Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale. So more on them in a bit. But if you guys are interested, links in the description below. Let's jump right into how you can best rank up your weapons in the shortest amount of time possible. So if you're like me, you're suffering through and you're getting guns done in MP but you'll notice that for like the first 40 to 50 levels, you're really at a disadvantage because almost all of the good attachments, for the most part, come later on. That's something that is the sort of universal tell of weapon rankings within Vanguard. It's similar, but not exactly to Black Ops Cold War, where it's not as linear in terms of I know exactly what level I need to get to to get a certain weapon attachment that I really need. But a lot of the stuff that makes weapons really good does in fact come at the end. So if you don't want to suffer through Vanguard's MP to try and rank up through levels 1 to 40 to 50, you actually have a now better opportunity to rank up your weapons by actually going into zombies. This is a process you may have seen in the last couple of days talked about by some of your favorite creators, but truly it is something you need to try out, especially right now, because it is double XP going on for this weekend. Now, if you find this video a couple of days down the line and it's not necessarily double XP weekend anymore, you can still do this with double XP tokens and it will still give you the same effect, assuming there is no change in terms of the earn rates that we get right now. But the process to do this is actually relatively simple. This, again, coming back to that zombies, Duranfang this year is uh, not super in-depth and not all that great for the most part when it comes to weapon leveling, and in terms of content, even a lot of people have their gripes with it. It's definitely a departure from the traditional zombies mode, but for how scaling works in zombies XP, at the very beginning of this map, it's actually really good. Now, how to do this, how to get the most efficient XP possible, this is something that, full disclosure, is going to be monotonous. It's going to be something you just need a sort of muscle memory, turn your brain off, put some music on, talk to your friends in a Discord call, whatever the case. You're going to load up zombies solo, go in, and then get only 35 kills. You'll be able to get this from the starting room and then also a little bit from the first harvest room, wherever that may take you. And truth be told, I would highly recommend harvest over the other objectives. Things like blitz are possible to work with, but you're on a timer in that specific mode, so you're not going to always get that 35 and then back out in that time frame. And once you complete one of those sort of rounds or objectives, it then increases the amount of melees you have to do in terms of killing those zombies, so you don't do it as fast and so therefore takes away from that efficiency. But once you hit 35 kills, back out and start the whole method again. Once you're on kill 36, the scaling on XP yields starts to drop significantly, and that's how the sort of story goes for the rest of each zombies match. It's not a substantial game by comparison, so to maximize the best bet and jump out in terms of best time efficient as well as XP yield rate efficiency, you want to jump out after 35 kills and restart the process over again. That whole process will take about two to four minutes depending on your ability to run through it, but you, especially at the beginning, should notice some rather solid pacing for weapon leveling, especially by comparison to, say, regular MP. As time progresses and the higher you get in the ranks for your weapons, naturally you'll start to see this sort of taper off where you're not getting as many levels. That's just how XP scaling with weapons in Vanguard works this time around. But you're also still going to be taking less time while ranking this up than you would in, say, traditional MP. Now, why is this important to jump on? Why are we talking about this now? Well, number one, we don't really know if this is intentional. We don't know if this is a bugged XP yield rate and is something subject to change or if it's actually from the beginning how it was supposed to be and this is just a sort of cheesy way to get as much XP as possible. And secondly, because right now it is double XP weekend, both for your overall rank, your weapon rank, as well as then your battle pass also. So you don't have to burn any tokens in Vanguard or in Warzone and you can save those for a little bit later down the 
line. You can end up getting more weapons ranked up fully without having to spend anything on your end and can save those for if you don't complete everything at the end of this weekend. So realistically, will it still be around this time next week? Well, we don't quite know, but I don't see any reason in not attempting to try and rank up some weapons here while the opportunity arises, even if it isn't something that does stick around, or maybe if we're lucky, it does. But overall, this will be something that expedites the process of ranking up a weapon from 1 to 40 to 50, and even if you want to jump into MP after you get those initial ranks and you end up getting some attachments that make the weapon a little better, a little bit more competitive going into MP, that's a great way to do it as well. Kind of a little bit of both, because then at that point, you can start to progress your camo challenges and everything like that, so it is something that gives you options. All in all, in terms of how fast you can complete this, I'd say you can probably complete a weapon in about half time to 75% of the time you would if you're just traditionally ranking it up all in MP. So it's honestly a great time saver, but again, entirely tedious, entirely monotonous. So just put on some music, talk to your friends, grab a drink, kick your feet back, do something that is just a mindless muscle memory, pure grind, but it will help you out in the long run. Now, of course, if this isn't your cup of tea, there still is a ton of other ways that we've talked about in the past that you can rank up your weapons a little bit faster. And the fact that it is double weapon XP this weekend does help out tremendously. But if you're looking to extend that weapon XP yield a little further, there's a handful of different bonuses you can take advantage of in game. Things like your operation favorite weapons. If you're ranking up an operator and you still need to rank up the weapon that is their favorite, use that operator, use that weapon you get. I think it's 10% bonus XP for not only the operator progression, but also the weapon XP as well at that point. Also, if you're a part of a clan, play with some of your friends. This is something that can help you out as well, and it will stack on top of that double XP and any bonus if you decide to use that operator favorite weapon. If you're on PlayStation, you also could have that bonus here for partying up with PlayStation members. Though, I've heard that's bugged, but I haven't seen any evidence to really support that one way or the other. So for the time being, as a general thought, if you're on PlayStation, you can get a little bit of a bonus for partying up with other PlayStation members as well. Now, if you end up using a weapon that you're about like a third to midway through the ranks for, you can, of course, use that surplus weapon kit that will give you more XP for everything, that being your weapon XP, your overall XP, and your operator XP. So that's obviously a great help as well. Completing camo challenges obviously is always a way to do it, gives you more XP towards that weapon and your overall rank just for simply doing some things that, for the most part, are relatively in line with just getting kills, basically. A lot of the starting camo challenges really you can complete without having to try at all. But you do have options, and of course, now with this new method of zombies farming solo, it can help greatly, especially with double XP going on this weekend. So, honestly, give it a try. Let me know how you do with it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little heads up that there is a little bit newer of a method and something that is actually better compared to what we've talked about in the past. But before we wrap everything up, I'll let you guys know about my friends over at Gamer Advantage who are putting on an incredible Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale. So if you guys want to check anything out, now is as best the time as any. If you're like me, you're either at your desk working on a computer, gaming, or just glued to your phone screen for a prolonged period of time each day. That can take a toll on your eyes with blue light. And as somebody that has used blue light glasses for years, thinking to myself, ah, oh, this $15 pair off Amazon is just fine. If you want to invest in something like your eye health, just fine isn't something you should be striving for. Gamer Advantage is head and shoulders above any other brand on the market claiming to offer similar results. They're the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market, and can even be custom tailored for you with a prescription that your insurance can then cover. Best of all, unlike other blue light glasses companies that just kind of put a yellow frame in there, what you see before you put on the glasses is exactly what you see when you have them on. No visual distortion, no yellow hue or ugly tint, nothing like that. I've been wearing these daily for about a year now at this point and truly have not had a single second thought. So right now the entire site is anywhere from 10 to 15% off. Plus, if you use code ESPRESSO, that will stack on top of that to give you 20 to 25% off your entire order. So if you want to check something out, now is the best time to do so. Head on over to the link in the description below and use code ESPRESSO if you're interested. But said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Have you guys tried this zombies method just yet? Is this now your main go-to for XP farming? Maybe not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Vanguard and Warzone. We got season one coming up very soon, so stick it here on the channel for all you'll need to know with all of that. But if you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to chat with me outside of YouTube. Links in the description below if you guys are at all interested with that also. But that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Happy Thanksgiving to those in the States. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.